What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, John for the Gamer Day here. Welcome to you to another episode of Dang and Robot 2, Goodbye Despair. And in the last episode, I missed out on a dinner date that meant nothing! Uh, so after conferring with the people that I confer with when it comes to this game and these games... Yeah, so talking to Nagito be pointless for me. So I wasted my dinner date with Nekamaru for a pointless affair and I'm pissed about it. And the only person I can be pissed at is me for passing up on the splendiferous opportunity. Anyways, back to action. Ibuki did summon us. Ibuki wants to hang out and do something. So like, come on Ibuki, let's party. Party. Party Rock is in the house tonight. Um, Nekamaru, where are you? Nagito, I'm mad at you, but I still have to talk to you. I'm mad, but I can't be mad at you forever. Hello there. Ah, oh, good morning, Hajime. <laughs> Even if you ignore me, I'm already happy that our eyes have met. You're really a kind person. Hey. Anyways. After what happened to Fuyuhiko, you understand what I was saying a little bit better now, right? What do you mean? You don't know? Fuyuhiko involved himself in Peko's execution. I did say that after it, it felt unpalatable to me. But Fuyuhiko returned to us alive. It's obvious. He used Peko to death the, as de Peko's death as a stepladder so he could shine even brighter and cling onto an even stronger hope. You. What? Huh? Don't you agree? Well, but it's decided that what's hope, or that's what hope should be. That's why you and the other parts progressed forward. <laughs> Oops, we should chat on this later. We need to be at that restaurant soon. I'll go ahead. How long does he plan to say such foolish things? Ugh. Oh, hi, Nekamaru. I'm sorry that I skipped out on our dinner date. I am sorry. About that, the dinner date you didn't know about, but like I, you know, needed to go somewhere, and I talked to the worst person that I could have in that current moment, and I regret it so badly. What can I do to make it up to you? Honestly, I need to make it up to you in whatever way I can. Yes, I will lose all of my freaking pride. I don't freaking care at this point. It's Nekamaru. Huh. It's you, Hayume. Were you also summoned by Ibuki? Yeah, it seems so. She's been going around waking people up. Did she break you, did you break the lock in your room too? No. no, that had never happened. I was awakened by the knock at the back door going at 337 clapping rhythm and some shouting, okay, you know, like music stuff. That's cool. That sounds extremely annoying. I was the, was I the only one that got broken into? Huh? But for her to go to the trouble of waking us up, what in the world happened? Yeah. I have a very bad feeling about this. Let's make haste and head over. He's right, I should hurry up too. But I was gonna talk to Nekomaru, so um, sorry, Abuki. You're you know you're second to Nekomaru. You're always gonna be second to Nekomaru. Um, well, until the eventual, you know, death of Nekomaru, because I feel it's coming soon, and I don't like that feeling, but it's okay. When I arrived at the restaurant, I felt the first thing I saw was everyone's backs, as they were forming a circle around something. Hey, what happened? As I said that, I peeked over everyone's shoulder. Fuyuhiko! Fuyuhiko, is it okay for you to be moving around like this so soon? Well, you shouldn't be okay. Whatever I say after this point, I apologize in advance if I make a mistake. My last name is Kuzuryu. My first name is pronounced Fuyuhiko. I'm still an inexperienced member of my family's business. From this point forward, I hope we get along so we can get to know each other better. You fiend. Just what the hell was that? Huh? It's nothing, really. Just a greeting. There's no way it was just a greeting. And yet, I feel like it was the first time Fuyuhiko ever greeted us. <laughs> um, that patch of yours? Nothing. It's nothing. <laughs> There's no way that's nothing since that eye is no longer... You can't see out of it, huh? Huh. <laughs> it's only one eye. Besides, I don't like... Er, I don't... Besides, don't I look like I've gained some prestige or something? However... Fuyuhiko. <laughs> Why are you acting all cool and stuff? Don't you understand the position you're in right now? Yoko. 
Do you really think we'll forgive you that easily for what you did? Understand? Don't you get it? It is your fault that Mihiru is dead. No, not just Mihiru. Peko died also because of you. Hey! It is all your fault. Oh. Um, Kyoko, we finally been able to get together with everyone. And? Huh? So what if we're all here? You better not say we're friends or something. Shut up! There's no way a killer like him will ever be our friend. I know. Yeah, you're right. It is my fault. But I already know that. It's my fault. That those two are dead. You. Are you planning to give us your so what attitude? I. It's not that. He squeezed out the words and Fuyuhiko suddenly collapsed to the ground. Fuyuhiko! Huh? What the heck? Hey, don't mess with me. Do you really think we're gonna forgive you if you just drop to your knees and cry? Shut up, Hyoko. Do you really think a half-assed apology will make us forget what you've done? No. I don't think that at all. That's why I said shut up. I thought something bad was happening. This is... <laughs> yes, he hemorrhaged. Oh, no. This is what Mikan was talking about. <clears throat> yep. Oh, what? Fuyuhiko has slit his own stomach. Huh? Ah! What are you saying? He could have opened his own virgin stomach? What, the? what? What are you doing? I did not think I'd be forgiven by such a half-assed apology. But if I don't do this, my feelings won't feel resolved. <laughs> That doesn't mean you have to slice your own stomach. <laughs> we must carry him to the hospital as soon as possible. Yeah. You're right, Kazuichi, let me a hand. This is bad. Yeah, sure thing. Yeah. Stop it. I can walk there myself. Ah. There's no way you can walk. <laughs> Even though I took the time to patch you up, now I need to sew your wounds all over again. Yeah. I feel ashamed. In the end, I made trouble for everyone. Uh, uh, Who cares about that? Let's go. The other carries Fuyuhiko out to the restaurant. But for those who were left, there were... Well, this is awkward. How should I start up a conversation again? Well? Hey, Huyuhiko. I've been thinking about this for a while, but... Um... What would Mihiro say about all this? I know you guys were best friends, so what do you think? <laughs> what? What would Mihiro say? What would Mahiro say? She'd probably get mad. Really mad. And after she got mad... It's definitely not possible. There's no way it would be easy to move on. We never had to think about the death until we came to this island. When we were forced to suddenly confront it, there was no way we would, were supposed to deal with it. We're not that strong. Hey. Hmm. This is a rare occurrence. If you're thinking about saying something inappropriate again, now is not the best time. No. It's not that. Does anyone know where Akane is? Huh? Huh? Now that you mention it, she's gone. It's so strange for her not to join us for breakfast. Mm. Mm, I have a bad feeling about that, too. A bad feeling? I mean, she hasn't been acting... Well, she has been acting a little weird these past few days. Oh, she's always weird. Mm. Mm, but I'm a little worried, though. She's not the one I'm worried about. An awkward feeling lingered as we finished breakfast. Soon after, we decided to return to our cottages... Are we getting more free time back to back? I've never felt so fatigued in the morning before. It's probably because of everything that's happened. But I should put those feelings and move on, as there's no such thing as a useless day for us anymore. Oh, we are! Damn! Okay. I was not expecting to get it back to back like this. Uh, I'll take it. Beach date. Nope, 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 nope. He's alone on the beach. What what am I supposed What else am I supposed to do? Okay, Mikan's in the cottage and right like I would like to go to the cottage too. But okay, I passed up on a dinner date. I'm sorry. I'm not passing out on the beach. Okay? Well, I mean in the sense of I'm not passing out a beach date. I mean, if I had passed out on the beach, that would mean I'm having a grand old time. But I am not missing out on this beach opportunity. Okay? It's a private beach all to myself with Nekamaru. Like, okay, I'm, I'm mad I missed this dinner date, but 
I can make it up. So that's okay. Although he's probably not going to be in anything, like, of note. Hi, Nekamaru. You're alone on this beach. Fuyuhiko. What a praiseworthy man. However, However Yukazaga often lives stubborn lives. What should I do? Should I invite Nekamaru to hang out? Of course. It's probably pointless to talk about it, but what would Pekko think Fuyuhiko's actions earlier? I had somewhat of a sad conversation with Nekamaru today. Honestly, we gotta let our feelings flow. It's okay. That's what I'm here for. I am a conversationalist. And the fact that you are willing to talk to me about this kind of thing is not bad. Looks like Nekamaru and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Nekamaru a present? Yes. Um, is there like anything other than sunflower seeds? Toy consisting of two balls tied to a string. You can play it with by swinging the balls. I would I would totally give this Nekamaru as a gag gift, but I don't know if he would like this. He's not the gag gift. Speaking. Nekamaru, can you put this on me, please? It's... Hmm? What is it? That's a strange thing you have. <laughs> well, if you're giving me it, then I'm glad they accept it. Hey, Nekamaru, I gotta be honest with you. I don't really understand that. <laughs> no worries. Everyone's like that at first. You don't have to be scared. I'm not going to hurt you. Come on, lay down over there. Yes! Hold on, what are you talking about? I'm talking about it, obviously. Do you want me to do it to you, right? Of course. No. I just wanted to talk, ask you about what you do as a team manager. Sheesh. Oh, that's what it was? You should have said so earlier. You didn't let me. So what I mean is... Hmm. Let's see. Basically, my job is to take care of the athletes so that they can give it their all. The technique varies for each sport, but every top athlete needs three essential things. Huh? Physical fitness, visual accuracy, or visual acuity, and willpower. If an athlete wishes to strengthen these three essentials, when then it is my job to prepare a solid and effective training measurement for them. A lot of the science behind the training is based off of principles like sports medicine. It is a real challenge to bring out the maximum potential on each individual athlete. Hold on. What? You look surprised. No, it's nothing. He gave such a serious answer, I don't really know what to say. You just didn't think he was smart enough to say it, and I'm sorry, but when I look at my guy, I know he's smart, okay? Okay? That's why I have to mentally challenge him and emotionally challenge him, too, because he has character depth. Hi, Yame. However, However, I told you just now, it's simply what every manager does. My special weapon is these fingers. Oh, yes, it is. What is up with your fingers? With the tips of these fingers, I can instantly relax tense muscles and promote maximum blood circulation. Massage me, dad, yeah. I can push the intravenous toxins like a waterfall and restore fatigue in an instant. As long as they're in my hands, each of my athletes can continue with their training and, and competitions. That's right, even until they die. This is it. This is it. The truly original massage technique is my ultimate weapon. Ultimate weapon? So he was referring to it in order to censor it? But isn't it dangerous to keep training when your body's exhausted? Oh? Since you're not the one standing in the battlefield, it's understandable that you wouldn't think like that. For some people, forfeiting in the middle of the match is greater than a loss of a loss than death. During my training, we even we met a clan of warrior women in the mountains who had such a feudal tendencies. Ah, uh, how nostalgic. Like you said, it may be a world that I don't really understand, but at least for now, I understand how important you are to athletes. Hey, hi, Yame. Oh. You know what I what to say to put me in a good mood. How about I give you a super version of it right now? No thanks. Afterward, he kept getting a little too close to my personal space, and I spent time with Nekamaru for a little bit. You know how freaking amazing I would feel in this moment and Jaime is just turning it down. Report card has been added. 
updated, dude, massaging on the beach of all things, okay? In a private beach? Ugh. I parted ways with Tekamaru and left the area. Like, come on, it's so bright. There's plenty of time today. Maybe I should go see someone else. Yes, yes we should. And it's, I, I like hanging out with the Kamaru, but twice in one free time seems a little bit suspicious. Shiaki's in her normal spot. Well, it's not suspicious when I get to go in his room. Yes, we're going all, full out Nekamaru simp today. I don't care. I need to. It's open. Hey. We're talking to you immediately. We already seen the room. Hi, Ime. Good timing. Have you seen the Kane? Where is she? What is she doing? What should I do? Should I invite Nekamaru? Yes. I apologize. But can you help me look for Akane? I spent time today searching for Akane with Nekamaru. Wow. Like, I look less like Nekamaru and I grew a little closer. Yes. I I'm, I'm just going to play it safe. I hope that... I'm, I'm sure that this probably isn't doing me any favors by giving Nekamaru things I know he likes, but... Oh, you're giving this to me? <laughs> you must be quite skilled if you're more considerate than a team manager. He looks like he's deep in thought. I hope he's not thinking about anything dangerous. Oh. Hmm, I've decided. It might be easier to talk to you about it since you aren't an athlete. I may run a little long, but can you listen to my story? Yeah, I don't mind. I see. Do you remember what I asked you before about, my about why I'm a team manager? At the time, I didn't know how passionate you were about it. However, long ago, I decided that my very to ask myself the very same question. Huh? To be honest, I was born with a heart defect. The doctor told me that I would only live to 20 at most. Because of that, I never got to play sports when I was growing up and didn't even get a chance to participate in PE either. I didn't I didn't know what you went through something like that. I can't imagine that's, that's happening to you now. Jeez. I was teased a lot when I was young, too. My childhood consisted of being unable to make friends and frequent trips to the hospital. However, on one particular day, I was put in the same room as this boy, and by coincidence, it completely changed my life. Like me, the boy had a similar illness. He made frequent trips to the hospital as well. But there was one key difference between that boy and me. Someone always came to visit him, and he would have fun conversations, and sometimes very serious ones. From what I could overhear, that boy was a team manager for a baseball team. His athletes were visiting him. Then, what do you say that boy, what you said to that boy was? Jeez. I asked him why he would do something like that. At the time, I didn't understand at all. I mean, he couldn't even play baseball with them. But then, he said this to me. Even though I can't play baseball with them, I can share their victories and defeat with them. That's what it means to be a team manager. You have the duty to support your team, especially if you can't be on the field with them. But in the end, he died at the hospital without seeing his team win. Perhaps he worked too hard gathering stats for the sake of an important game. Or maybe he already knew that he had t didn't have much time to begin with. Honestly, I don't know. So I decided to take all the stats he risked his life gathering for the sake of his team. And my very first job as team manager was leading that boy's team to victory. After that, I threw myself into various sports before I realized that my body had become incredibly tough. To the point where it's too tough. But I'm even so, I'm proud of being a team manager. So that's why. But you didn't, why did you decide to tell me that? Huh? Hmm? I don't know. I don't really understand it myself, but I wanted to tell someone the same way that boy taught me. Oh. <coughs> as long as you have a friend, as long as you have friends who have your back, you'll be able to clear the path to the future without giving up. So I spent time talking to Nekamaru about various things. He gave me a lot of valuable advice about his team manager's perspective, and it reminded me how great he is. I parted ways with Nekamaru and returned home. <clears throat> it's getting dark outside. It's nighttime already? Hmm. That felt fast. Ever since I arrived at this island, the day passes by abnormally fast. With that doorbell. Does that mean someone's here? Cautiously walked over to the door and opened it and sl uh, slowly, wary of what might be on the other side. Nice to have met ya! <laughs> the t it's past- it's the past tense of nice to meet you, you know? Because we've already exchanged nice to meet you's? Abuki again. That's totally Allow me to apologize for surprising you with all my all of a sudden visit. <laughs> I am sorry! Well, 
It's a lot better than last time when you broke into my room. <laughs> you must be the type that holds grudges. My ears, joints hurt. That means you have gout. So, what do you want? Um, um a boogie doesn't get it either, but it looks like an invitation was sent to everyone. Invitation? Yes. See this thing. What? That's totally a girl's writing. An invitation taken 9 p.m. at a titty typhoon party for Fuyuhiko Kazuriku's recovery. Let's see, a recovery party for Fuyuhiko at the titty typhoon at 9? What is this? Is this Monokuma's doing again? Why you? How rude! Don't you put this in the same category as Monokuma! Is this what you're doing? <laughs> um, I don't know what you're talking about, like, at all. Abuki just brought the invitation. It's definitely her. <laughs> well then, Abuki has some preparation, so I'll go on ahead and I'll leave you to it. She even said preparation. She's completely behind the whole thing. Um, Titty Typhoon, is that that music venue on the third island, right? Huh? 9 p.m.? That's in 30 minutes! Even though it's a party for Fuyuhiko's recovery, is he going to be able to come? After all, he just lit his own stomach this morning. But she took the trouble to do this out of goodwill, so I guess I should head over to the music venue. I guess. I guess. I definitely am not sus. No, not sus at all. There's nothing bad that could possibly happen after we got two free times back to back, rushed the way we did, and we're going to a party. So not suspicious at all. There's no way this could be suspicious in any right. No possible way. I'm not buying it. Like, I, what I mean by I'm not buying it, I don't think that Ibuki herself has ill intentions, but I think that there might be people here that do. Then again, we haven't gotten a motive yet either. So, I guess could it... Oh? What? It wants to give you something. 100 monocoins, 100 monocoins, Ramoon and coconut juice. Level up. This too must be the will of causality. Tonight's constellation heralds the banquet that celebrates Fuyuhiko's resurrection. <laughs> <laughs> How idealistic. It's now then, showtime. let us begin the ceremony of darkness. This guy, who cares anymore? Nagido, and Buki invited you too, right? Yep. Yeah, and I'm honored. But since everyone else is here, is going to be there celebrating Fuyuhiko's recovery. Like no matter what. I think it's rude for someone like me to go inside before everyone else arrives. Uh, and you don't have to worry about me. So you can go inside first. Believe me, I'm not worried. Anytime without Nagito, after he made me miss out on a dinner date, it's fine by me. To be fair, I would have hung out with um, Nekomaru way too much. Several people already arrived at the music venue, but... Fuyuhiko, why are you... Huh? What? Is it bad that I came? No, it's not that. Is it okay for you to move around? It's gonna be fine. Yeah, it's nothing. <laughs> There's no way you're okay. You're seriously injured. Even so. They took the time to throw a party for me. There's no way I wouldn't come. I understand how you feel, but you really shouldn't overwork yourself. So. I'm not overdoing it. Sheesh. Fine then. Let him do whatever he wants. But. But, but, but. Huh? It's fine. Just let him be. Apparently Yakuza have a pain tolerance down to the art. I can't believe he's actually forcing himself to join this kind of event. The old Fuyuhiko probably wouldn't come to no matter come no matter how much we invited him. He's probably trying to do his very best to change. Hey, but it, it looks like Hiyoko definitely didn't come. How pitiful! That seems to be the case. Huh? And Akane's not here too. Mm. What? Well, what? In the wild woman? What is that wild woman off to? I hope she's not planning anything too strange. 
if, it, if as of on cue, right when Negamaru expressed his unease, when he that that's when that happened. Kakane probably popping in. My, oh my! S suddenly the stage lit up brightly as the person who appeared was. Hey y'all! It's Ibuki Miyota. Thanks for coming out today. My specialty is making beef stew. <laughs> I may not look like it, but people tell me that I'm a nurturing type. So I'm gonna do my very best performance so I can make everyone feel better. I hope you're all pumped up. Just as I thought, that's what she was going for. Well, she is the ultimate musician after all, so I can't imagine what else she would do at a music all venue. Right. I'll start singing this first song with full on energy. So put your hands together for From Me to You Too. Since she was originally a member of a high school girl band that dominated the music charts, I can probably look forward to her music stylings. Yeah! Whoa! Put the thing down. That's a good riff. this up for you guys so you guys can kind of see what's going on or hear a little bit more of what's going on was Ibuki supposed to sing or was it just her guitar that she was huh I guess we'll find out but I, I heard mainly her guitar which was really good by the way but not what I was expecting I was expecting to hear some singing from Ibuki so not in a bad way not, not saying that's a bad thing but whoa I'm gonna get C U R S E D. What? Such an overwhelmingly painful resonance. Even my four dark divas of my destruction look less lightly than usual. Something like this. And I am too starting to feel chills. With a tickle, like from me to you, I thought it was. Or was it kind of like from me to you? I thought it was going to be a sweet love song. If I recall. The reason why Ibuki left the high school girl band was um, creative differences. Th that must be why. <laughs> Yahoo! It's awesome! The first time I've ever heard such a famous song! Hiyoko. I'm glad. Huh. You came. <laughs> so what if I did? I was invited too, you know. But... but your attitude, you're attending Fujiriko's recovery party. That means you've already... Are you stupid? Don't misunderstand. There's no way I would forget from that easily. Because he's a Yakuza, you know? He's the type of person who preys on people by tricking them. Even now, he's probably just pretending to be sorry so he can trick us. Please wait. There is no way that is possible. I know. No. I get why she'd think that of me. Huh. Yeah, that's right. 
That's why we're never going to believe in you. Get it? If that doesn't mean that we've made up any or anything, I'm only cooperating with you until we get off this island. Uh -huh. so... Just remember, if anything happens, you're the first one who's going to get cut off. Sorry. <coughs> eh, I'm glad. I'm really, really glad. You nasty pig mm. bar. You don't cry, pig. You have no right to cry. You're grossing me out. I see Puyuhiko's not the only one who's trying to change. She's also trying, huh? The old Hiyoko. There's no way she'd ever forgiven Fuyuhiko like this. Whoa. Hey, what you looking at? Nothing. Somehow, even though it's a little by little, I feel like things are starting to turn around. But that's all the more reason to worry about him. Matakuma. There's no way he's going to let us or going to do anything while he's watching us like this, right? Boring. Hey, how much longer are you guys gonna get bummed out? I came all this way here because you said it was gonna be a party. Hey. Come on, Ibuki, hurry up and start that next song. Roger, thanks for writing. Let's go right ahead to the next song. Huh? There's still more. Now that this recovery party is in full swing, I've got a ballad prepared that totally fits the mood. Grab a partner and slow dance too. I squeezed out the baby, but I have no idea who the father is. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is that song title? A bookie. A bookie. What? <laughs> oh no. Oh, I'm gonna be listening to another fun song, aren't I? Oh no, I don't need to. No more. Hey, what is everyone doing here? Whoa, Monami. Jeez. Hey, don't interfere. Oh, I was just enjoying the fun party, too. What? I wasn't even invited to this party. <laughs> Obviously not. You'd ruin the party. What? <gasps> but seriously, now is not the time. Now is not the time to enjoy a fun party. But why? Akane. Akane is... Emergency. Akane is doing well, dealing with Wamata Kuma. What? what? What did you say? At this point, Ikari is going to be in danger, so please do something to save her. It looks like my bad feelings were correct. <laughs> that stupid fool! No, I'm the one who was a fool. It was my mistake not to keep my eyes on her. As a team manager, I should have had a proper grasp of my athlete's private life. Damn it, this failure will haunt me for the rest of my life. Or, <laughs> my name isn't Nekamaru Nidai. Um, now is the time for the regret. Let's make a haste. Of course! Fuyuhiko has finally returned to us, and I thought anyone else in our group... I the thought of anyone else in our group getting taken. I won't allow it. I will never allow it! Hey, Monami. Where's the Kane and Monokuma? Um, um, they're at the beach where we first arrived at the asylum. Please hurry. If you don't, the Kane is going to get killed! You don't have to tell me! I'm going at full speed ahead! We should probably hurry, too. Nekamara bolted from the music venue as fast as his legs would take him. If we followed him, and we followed him soon after, I should hurry too. Hey everyone. Thanks. Thanks everyone. No, that's not it. I know Akane's in deep trouble, but you guys suck. Screw this half-ass comfort. If this were a song title, it'd be seats assault sweeping into my broken heart. I don't really get it but you look pretty bummed out. Come on, you shouldn't make a fuss here. Let's hurry up to the beach already. She's right. I should hurry too. I wanted to talk to her because I know that she actually like had things planned. Some of the people didn't like it, but I don't know. I mean, metal is metal, is metal right? And so it's not bad, but it has a unique taste. And I can see, I'm surprised that the mechanic didn't like the metal music. Oh. Hi, I'm Hinata. Just as Nekamaru said, I can't stand any more situations where someone is taken any longer. There's no time to spare. I need to hurry over to the first, the beach on the first island. Okay, that's what I figured was said, but I just needed to double check. I needed to check myself before I wrecked myself by going to the wrong spot. I don't think there's anything to truly be worried about. I think we're just gonna get a good cutscene, that a good, good end the episode type cutscene, but. <coughs> Hey, Chiaki, what are you doing? We gotta get to the beach. Hold it. Calm down. Huh? Well, 
It's true that we need to hurry, but there's no way you can make good decisions if you're so worked up. But if we don't hurry, Akane is... For the sake of saving Akane, too, we don't know what's beyond this point. That's why we need to stay calm, I think. Yeah, I got it. I'm okay now. Yep. Then let's go. After running there at a full sprint, by the time I got to the beach, I struggled to regain my breath. It was a shocking scene that unfolded before me. Uh, Akane! Looks like you're just barely avoiding any fatal injuries. Yep, at least your agility is worthy of praise. But did you only challenge me just so you could show me your sweet dance moves? D damn it! Well, why can't I even graze you with my attacks? Well, you know, we're on completely different levels. That means we view the world differently. It's like a character from a punk manga challenging an enemy from a super-powered battle manga. <laughs> it's obvious you can't win. Hey, hey. Is she really serious about not even grazing it? Akane is fighting a stuffed animal. Monokuma is an advanced machine. It is designed for combat. It probably is capable of exerting such power. However, as far as speed is concerned, Akane is far faster than any athlete I have ever seen. And if she can't even graze him with her attacks, is that even possible? Um, however, because it's possible, and that's why she's in this situation, right? How unfortunate. As long as she ended up like that, there's not much we can really do about it. At the very least, we should overcome the despair of Akane's death and use it to fuel and bolster our hope. Wait, what? Did I miss that? I better not have just missed that. Right? Like Fuyuhiko did, you see? Don't fuck with me! I agree. Damn it! I never want to feel that feeling again. If I have to feel that way, I'll make sure to stop it, even if it costs me my life. Ah. No, no, you can't. You'll really die if you keep overexerting yourself. <sighs> It's just a little life Peckle gave me. It's not precious anyway. Fool. You stupid idiot. That is all the more reason you need to take care of it. Huh? huh? Don't stop. You guys stay back and I'll take it from this here. This is Nekomaru Nidai's final firework. Make sure you sear it into your eyes. No. 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 Let me hold you back. Now then, no. No. No, 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 don't take this, don't take this, don't take this, don't take this. I won't allow any rule violations against me. This is what happens when you break the rules. Don't take the hit for her. Don't take the hit for her. Do not. No, 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 shot from a bazooka I really am the worst <laughs> oh my god yourself Nekomaru A 
Akane. The time I've spent with you, it... It wasn't so bad. Don't... Die... Akane. That's how I feel right now, too. Like, I'm gonna set the controller down for a minute because I have to talk this out a little bit. <sighs> Look, I knew he was gonna die. Not this chapter, obviously. But I, like, there was no way that they would keep him alive. Like, contextually, when you look at the cast and you look at everything, there's no way that he was going to be kept alive. I hate to say it, but it's the truth. I mean, he's the big, strong, teddy bear character. He doesn't have the will um, to kill anyone or do anything too bad. So the way he died, I'm very okay with it. It makes sense for his character. Him protecting the person he trained is understandable. I do not have any hard feeling. Well, I, let me rephrase. I my view of Akane does not go down because Akane's kind of pseudo the reason that Nakamaru died. I have to think about this in a logical, logical sentiment and say, no, this fits his character. This fits Nakamaru's character a lot, and this fits Akane's character a lot too. So it's not out of this, out of the question that that would ever happen. Um, my... Him being gone... Does mean, though, however, for you guys... That we're gonna kind of be heavily relying on Mekon and... Tiaki. Um. Oh my god! That means that my wasted dinner date with Nekum. <laughs> Nagito! My wasted dinner date with Nagito literally made it so that I couldn't complete his actual st <laughs> Nagito! I skip out one time! I missed the dinner date! And he's gone! Ugh. I missed the dinner date. Because I wanted to talk to Nagito. Even more reason I can't stand him anyway. He's like my rival, okay? It's fine. What, what, what? Holy crap. Instead of the rule violator, Akane. What, the hell? what a major failure. I ended up killing Nekamaru, who had nothing to do with this. Hey. Hold, hold on. It's a feint, but his heart is still beating. He's not dead yet. <laughs> then you've got to hurry. Then you've got to hurry and treat him. Hey, Monokuma. You can do something about this, right? Save Nekamaru like you saved me. Hey, hey. That's right. If you kill someone who didn't violate the rules, that makes you the one who violated the rules. Well, well let's just say that we're even. Hmm? What? Monokuma. <laughs> In exchange for forgiving Akane for breaking the rules, let's just say that Nekamaru will just be the sacrifice. I hate... I hate, I hate desperately to say this, but I think that's what Nekamaru would want. If, it, it, if that was what he had to choose, he would absolutely want to die in place of his fellow trainee. And it makes sense, 
and I hate it because I really want Nekamaru. If I had to choose between Nekamaru and Akane, y'all know the answer. <clears throat> Obviously, I would take Nekamaru in a heartbeat. But <clears throat> the best way to go about life... I am so choked up. I am so sorry. But the best way to go about life is setting free... Being able to set them free. And if this is how Nekamaru wants to be set free, and I don't have any word of that. I mean, I don't have any say. If this is what he wants, I have to accept it. So it is... Isn't it okay if we say we're even? You are not going to save him? Jeez, I guess I have no choice. It'd be so boring if you died a meaningless so... death. So I'm going to activate my special trump card. And that's when it happened. The siren started ringing out, out of nowhere and gradually came closer and closer. Oh, uh, this again? <clears throat> Just leave the rest to me, Dr. Killgood. He even recycled the same line again. We gotta get this patient to the Monokuma Hospital ER and get him under 24-hour observation stat. So, I'll see you later. Here's the problem. I don't want to accept it. I really don't. But I mean, he... He literally got... Shot. And it looked like he was shot in the chest. Area. I think even if Monokuma... If Monokuma can try and do something... I... He has a heart condition. I don't think I don't I, I don't think Nekomaru I think this is this is like false hope because I don't think Nekomaru is going to be able to make it out of this alive I genuinely don't and they can try this all they want and they can and you know they can act like they're doing the best that they can but I'm sorry Monokuma Why would you try something that is ranged? Why would you use a ranged attack? Because they have the highest chances of failing. What the hell? Why did this happen? What's going on? Hey, it's gonna be all right, right, Nick Maru? He's gonna be saved, right? Of course he's obviously gonna be saved. But Fuyuhiko finally returned to us. I can't believe Nekamaru is gone now. No! No, no more. I, I can't stand this anymore. Hey! Hey! Can you stop yelling? Screaming won't help you, you know? You uggo! This isn't cuz. This is what's happening when we let our guard down. I like to this talk about getting along when we're full, just fully ourselves. <laughs> We were pretending that we understood the situation we're in. Teamwork, friendship, and cooperation, nothing matters. The stupid ones will get killed one after another. It won't be a mystery when you're eventually betrayed. And that's why I'm never going to rely on anyone. That's the reality here. Uh, Are you saying that it's meaningless for us to ever even work together? Shut up! If I really did have a meaning, Nekamaru wouldn't... If it really did have a, a meaning, Nekamaru wouldn't have ended up like that. Uh, he ended up like that because of his weird feelings of friendship. Hey, you understand too, right? When the stupid ones try and act on their own, it makes trouble for everyone else. Hey! Hey, can you please not involve me because I don't want to die a meaningless death. That is... Kyoko, blaming Akane won't help solve the situation. Huh. We don't have to worry about Coach Nekamaru. Huh? Huh? Huh. Man, that's disappointing. It's all your fault and it's not even... You're not even worried about him. Oh. Akane, you're not worried about Nekamaru? There's no need to worry about worrying. I know Coach Mo Nekamaru is a monstrous guy. There's no way he's going to die from something like that. There's no doubt Nekamaru was definitely going to come back. Damn it. So when that happens, I'll make sure I apologize to him. Because I was too weak and I caused him trouble. So when he comes back, I'll make sure to say I'm sorry. He's not coming back, sweetie. You, there's he's, he's not. I'm sorry. I hate to inform you, but... Even I have to accept the fact that he's gone. And 
I'll be here to comfort you. And I'll be with you along the way. Do not hold it against yourself. Yes, you wanted to do something and you wanted to make and like do a lot of things to try and help us out. And we appreciate the intention that was there. It is not on you, Akane. It is not on you. Akane. As well as a, as we all returned to our cottages, we were silent. Even if we opened our mouths, only words would worry of worry would come out, and we all knew that. When we saw Nikamaru's tragedy happen right in front of us once again, we were all taught. If you think you won't die, well, that's just wishful thinking. On this island, without any warning, people die. That is the nightmare that we're trapped in. And when you think you've finally woken up from the nightmare, you realize you're still inside of it. And thus the nightmare continues. Monokuma Super Fables, story 58. A Tengu came down from the mountains. As long ago, the village was afraid of Tengus showing up. The Tengus apparently uh, did as they pleased, such as kidnapping and stealing food and kidnapping women. And it all, the really, it was all the Tengus' fault. Isn't it actually the human's fault for ruining nature and destroying the mountains where the Tengus live? You think monsters are scary? It's humans that are the scary ones. Everyone, now it's time to rise up against the humans. We must protect nature and the humans from the humans and return the world to a peaceful place where monsters are roam free. Monokuma Super Fables, the end. Ding dong bing bong. Ahem! Hope Peak Academy. Good morning! Now then, let's. As usual, we went. Well, as, as usual, well, even if I say that, it doesn't matter anymore. But I greeted the morning without having slept well at all. I really wanted to see everybody, anybody, as fast as I could. I felt like I had to share this ancient feeling with someone, and I couldn't deal with it alone. I should go to the restaurant for now. Yes, yeah, so we will go to the restaurant. Um, I will check my map. Nekamaru is not officially dead, but... If I get the surprise, no. If I get to, if I get surprised, and he is actually alive, I will be very happy. That'll be a very good thing for me. But from now, for now, I'm gonna have to accept the fact that he is dead. I don't trust that he's alive. I don't because as soon as I get my hopes up, what will really happen is I will have to enter a mode of despair. And that's the last thing, as the main character, I want to do. Thank you guys so much for watching this episode of Danganronpa Trigger. Or, uh, <laughs> thank you so much for watching this episode of Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. And then we will uh, figure out everything that's going on in the next one. Bye!